Hi, this is Rick again. I'm going to go through and show you how to set up Authorize.net as a payment method. All right, we're here on our Finance Depot uh, WordPress page. Uh, we're going to go to our Member Press settings. Uh, we're going to hit Options. We're going to go to Payments. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. We're going to hit the plus to add a new one. All right, on the gateway, we select Authorize.net. We're just going to go ahead and call it authorized.net credit card. Now all this information here that we need, the login ID, the transaction key, and this information here, uh, we need to go to our authorized.net account. So you go to your authorized.net, you log in, you select account, and first off, the API login ID and transaction key can be found here. So you just copy and you go paste it back in there and then we need the transaction key so you type in your little secret answer and here's your transaction key copy and paste that back into here so I'm using an authorized.net sandbox account so I'm going to check that uh, these won't actually charge any credit cards so with the other options here, you can select to send authorized.net debug emails. With Force SSL, if you have the option to show your page as HTTP or HTTPS, uh, this option will make it so it automatically switches to the HTTPS, which is the, the secure version, in order to charge the card. So the last steps you need to do are with the silent post URL and the MD5 hash value. Both of those are things that we need to copy and paste and put back into our authorized.net account. So we'll copy the silent post URL here, go back to account settings, and here's that option, the silent post URL. So we hit this, copy and paste, submit it. So that one's updated. So the next, we want the MD5 hash value. So copy that, go back to the account, here is the option for the MD5. You paste that in there twice to confirm it. Hit submit and your settings are taken care of. All right, so once you hit update, that will be available as an option in your payment page.